Hey, what's up? Hold on, because I'm going to uh, go over to my page. What's up? I am uh, coming to you live from my home office. Let me see. Okay, now I need to get over onto my personal page. What's up, guys? As you guys are tuning in, pop in, say hello. I need to make sure that this is working. I need to make sure you guys can hear me. Um, I'm going to give it a minute. What's up? I'm going live on my – I'm simulcasting. Woohoo! So I'm sitting on my phone. What's up, guys? Hey, Rhonda. Hi, Heather. How are you? Okay. All right, all right, all right. I think I got it. The simulcast stuff. This is it's it's pretty funky. It's pretty funky. Yeah, as you guys are tuning in, make sure you say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, I'm talking to you today about uh, the naked truth about network marketing. Hoo hoo. And um, so I'm gonna give it a minute. Let people hop in. Can you guys hear me? Okay. I know I'm, typically I go live a little bit later in the afternoon, but that I come do this a little bit earlier. What's up, Rebecca? How are you, sweetie? <laughs> yep. You guys are popping in. Say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm going to start my phone over here. I'm, so I'm okay. Of course, I'm going to have complications. Why wouldn't we have complications, guys, with technology, right? Ah, uh, hold on. Um, rotate. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Just give me a minute. Always complications when it comes to tech setup. All right. Julianne, hi, hon. How's it going? Monica. Good morning, Monica. I know. Morning. I'm usually saying um, afternoon, but... We are live in the morning. Okay, I think I'm live on my personal page as well. Hi. Hey. All right, you guys, it's so weird doing two screens at once. But, so forgive me if I'm, I'm rotating back and forth. All right, so as you guys are popping in, um, say hello. I can hear you. I'm actually riding my horse as I'm watching. Monica, you're riding a horse as you're watching me. <laughs> That's super freaking cool. <laughs> So, Monica, Debbie, Bonnie, what's up, all of you ladies? How are you? Lisa, hi. Hello from the gym. Hashtag no excuses. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's great. You know what? I'm going to move my phone, I think, over here. Sorry, guys, that are tuning in from my personal page. But there we go. All right. Hey, guys, what's up? All right. So, I'm not going to spend a ton of time. Wait, hold on. Is this good, guys? Can you hear me? I have my notes over here. I just hit something on my desktop, so let me know if you guys could still hit me on my desktop. You guys, I clean my office, and like, oh my gosh, it feels amazing to have everything nice and clean in here. Hey, everyone on my personal page over there, say hello. I know it's like going through the feed, so um, say hello. Don't mind all that mess back there. I'm still, I'm still in the process of detoxing the office, but it's so much better. You guys, I threw out like, I can't even tell you like garbage bags full of stuff. It felt so good. All right. So I want to dive in because I want to talk to you about, um, you know, really. And, and for those of you watching over here on my personal page, um, I am also on my desktop on my, my business page. And so I'm wondering if I should have kept the phone over here. But you know what? Let me bring it down a little. Sorry, guys. I keep moving you. Ah, okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Anyways, so I'm going to share a little bit about my story for those, those of you that are new coming in. And then I want to talk to you about – it was crazy because last night I was watching the news. And they were talking about how, like – 24 big retailers um, like are just shut their doors. So I'm sure most of you have heard, especially those of you that are parents have heard that Toys R Us just recently closed down, which was super, super sad, right? Um, 
but it's true. Like we are living in a different era. We are living in a different economy. And so last night I'm watching the news and they say that Carson Perry Scott is closing after 130 years of being in business. Like, is that not insane? Um, so it just got me really thinking about also how you can relay that over inside the network marketing. And this is what I mean. So I'm going to quickly share my story with you because I have new friends coming in every single day. So I don't want to assume that you know my story. Um, and then how, how it relates to network marketing, because I see this happening inside of network marketing as well. And so I want to, I just, I just want to discuss this and I want to get your guys' feedback. Okay. So my story is, um, I fell in love with, I found network marketing and kind of just fell in love with it six years ago um, after I, I was a franchise owner. So I too owned a brick and mortar business. Okay. I was a franchise owner. I sold the business. I wanted to stay, I had the hopes and dreams of staying home, starting a family and, um, you know, just kind of go from there, like live life. Right. I had no clue what I wanted to do. No, clue, no clue what I wanted to do when I grew up. <laughs> Um, we were fortunate enough to make a, a, a great profit from um, the franchise. Um, however, it wasn't money to live on, you know, forever. It was a, it was money enough for us to build our dream home and start our family. So, I got the urge to also, um, you know, I'm not the mom that just, you know, wants to sit around all day and just like. And not like there's a lot of moms out there like that. I just, I'm not the person, when you have an entrepreneur spirit, there, it, it like just lives inside you and it like just claws at you to come out. And so even though I was home with my son, I still wanted to feel like I was contributing to our household. Now, I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that, but um, it's a big deal. It was a big deal for me. Um, so I got started um, in direct sales. And I'm sure most of you, if you've heard of direct sales, <laughs> drop me an emoji let me know we've heard of direct sales right direct sales and I get this question all the time how is direct sales different than network marketing there's a big difference um uh compensation plans being one of them but direct selling is mainly where you have to go home to home and work your business party to party and um you know you're gone you're gone a lot of nights and weekends so that was me and I really didn't know what I signed up for. I'll be honest, guys. I really didn't realize that it was going to take off, I guess, as fast as it did for me. So I went back to the drawing board because after about eight months, I said, I'm done with this. I, I need a business I can build from home. You guys, it's called a home based business for a reason. Am I right? Right? So I um, found this amazing woman and she's still a great friend to this day and I love her so but I reached out to her um so many times that I was like what is this what is this that you have now she did something amazing which was not say what her company was or what she did she created curiosity okay and so um I reached out to her and I said oh my gosh what what is this that you have long story short I met her I got started. I came in for the opportunity. I came in a little bit different. Now, most people that get involved in network marketing, they come in for the, the product, right? They fall in love with the product. They want to share the product. They find out about the opportunity and the rest goes from there. Me, I came in kind of the opposite way. And you guys, I forgot to mention, share this out, share this out, because I'm going to get into some nitty gritty stuff here on the importance of understanding the shifts that we're making in network marketing, okay, in the profession. So if you're in the profession of network marketing, share this, share this out. Okay, so I sat here and I got started in a profession that I really didn't know anything about. It was very new to me until I, of course, got that very first objection, right? And then it was an objection that hurt because I didn't know how to process it because it was from a person that I love dearly. And so when I got the objection, it was, you know, go home and cry. Why would they say that about me? Why would they say that about what I'm doing? And then after I brushed myself off, 
um, I got busy, right? And I started to study the profession, which most people don't do, okay? So one of the naked truths here is that people don't really study and understand marketing and network marketing. You guys, marketing is a big deal. It's a big part of network marketing. And I'm going to get to all of that in a minute, okay? So I... I quickly built this business um, inside of network marketing and I became a student. Um, and there came a time where I started realizing that I was going to either quit and walk away or I needed to do something because I felt like I was going around in circles. And this is what I mean. So even though I was very successful inside of network marketing, I still felt like there was a piece of me that still felt like I wanted to do more, impact more, or I could provide more. And so I started a training company. I started doing coaching. I didn't even know. I didn't even know what I wanted to do. I just started doing it. I just started doing online marketing. I just started a fan page and started putting myself out there as scared and as fearful as I was of what people were going to think because most times that's what holds us back is our ego because we're so worried about what other people are going to to think and say, am I right? If I'm right, let's say yes, drop me a yes, let me know, I'm right. So here I go forward in my, in my journey of figuring out what I wanted to do in the online space. I realized I wanted to build a brand, I really didn't even know what building a brand was, and in the process I was already building a brand, which was crazy, because I was doing social media the right way. Um, which was creating curiosity. And I'm going to get into some, some tips and steps here for you guys in a minute. But um, so I go along this journey of really wanting to understand more about marketing, more about branding. And, um, and then I hit, you know, the reason why I'm saying I went, I was going around in circles is because everything I said I didn't want to do, I was doing. I was doing home parties, I was doing the three-way calls, and I was doing all stuff because of course, of course, as a leader, you always want to help your team grow. You do. Um, the reason why I didn't host my own parties was because I came from the party business and I, I didn't want to invite now family and friends back over to now buy a different product. So I never hosted my own party. I, did, I didn't feel like I needed the list, even though we teach to do the list. Um, and that's important. I didn't do that. I'm just sharing my story. Okay. I'm just sharing what I went through. Hey, what's up, Ryan? How are you? Um, okay. So I reached this point of where I felt a bit burnt out. Okay. And I don't know if you guys have ever felt burnt out. If you have, drop me a heart below because you're not alone. Right. Sometimes we feel like we're not getting anywhere. Like we're kind of spinning our wheels. We're doing things for our business that we don't really want to be doing, and we want to figure out an easier way, a better way. And so what happened was I ended up leaving um, that company. I ended up parting ways with that company for many reasons, for many reasons, which I'm not going to get into right now. And it was the toughest decision I ever had to make because those that know me know I was, I was walking away from a lot. I had a huge team that I loved. Um, I still love them, but I mean, I had a huge team. I was making a significant amount of income. And so there are people out there that are like, you are crazy. You are crazy. But it's like, you have to look internally and say, well, do I sit and just watch what's going on in company number? Do I stay in company A and just watch what's going on in company B? Or do I go and discover if company B is right for me? And and follow that gut and that intuition, right? And, oh, or do I just stay for money? I never in my life want to stay for the wrong reasons, ever. And so the reason why I'm talking about these big box retailers shutting down, and like every day there's a, a boutique, small business boutique shutting down, and it's sad. It, it's sad, but it's true, you guys. You think about what's happening, right? What is happening? Well, we're in a different era. Right? There's no doubt about that. Um, people want convenience. They want fast. Um, they don't want to walk into boutique stores. I'm, I'm simulcasting in case you guys see I'm like rotating here. Um, 
They don't want to walk into boutique stores and get hassled by a salesperson. I know I don't. Um, they want to, they don't want to like have to get up and just jump in their car to just go shopping. Um, well, sometimes maybe, right? But but when something is at the click, like at your fingertips, right? It's so simple to just do, 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 boom, place your order, it delivered to the door. It is convenient. It is fast. And we see these changes happening all around us. And now I'm seeing them inside of network marketing too. Okay. And this is where I'm saying this is the naked truth. You, this is where you get the times. Network marketing has grown tremendously in the past 10 years. Now I'm a network marketing trainer and I'm actually in network marketing. Like I'm actually building a huge business inside of network marketing, by the way. Okay. So I've been in network marketing for six years. I would say probably the last 10 years and I don't have the exact stats. Um, you know, of really when network marketing has really, really, really become, you know, the top thing. Like it is growing exponentially, right? For so many reasons. Equal opportunity. Like anybody could go build a million dollar business, you guys. I know people that barely graduated high school that have million dollar businesses. No joke. It is unbelievable when you can think about it. I have, uh, it provides residual income. And if you don't know what residual income is, write residual in the comments and, and I will explain it to you. Um, but it's money that just pays you. You, you do the work and it, it's money that pays you over and over and over. And yes, it's effort. Yes, it's work. Okay. It is work, right? Um, but it's amazing that you can build something and then take time off and not have to worry about it and go on, you know, a 10 day vacation. Or how about like when my son was born and he, uh, we had to rush him over to, um, the children's hospital here because he wasn't breathing right. Okay. And we were in the hospital for days with him. Guess what? I didn't have to call the boss. I didn't have to call up. And we were in this, treatment center where there are literally children with cancer okay and like parents living at this hospital so think about that like think about having to call your boss and get time off to be able to stay with your child in a hospital or imagine you having to go to work because your boss says you're going to be fired if you can't take the time off and you have to worry about that because why because i was building residual income okay um and not just me, there's many stories out there. There's many, many, many stories out there of people in this profession that it's helped. Um, it's about leaving a legacy, a legacy for your, your children, right? It's building a legacy income. It's the culture. It's the people. It's, you know, surrounding yourself with the right people. Because I'll tell you, I've met some nasty, gossipy people as well inside of network marketing that are two-faced. And you know what? You're going to find that anywhere. It's not just network marketing. But I will tell you, nine times out of ten, you find the most amazing people to be around. There's only one, one, that one ten, <laughs> that one percent that really is a rotten egg, okay? Um, but... You know, um, the culture, um, the personal development journey that you go through. You guys, it, it's just, I could go on and on about the, the amazing things inside of network marketing. So do you agree with me? Are you in network marketing and you agree with me on, on all of those aspects? Okay? If you do, drop me an emoji below. Drop me a high five like, or fist bump, all right? Because it's super important for people to understand and sometimes I feel like the profession of network marketing gets a bad rap because of the, some of those rotten eggs that do get, that do come inside of here. And so my job is to make sure that I'm educating people on this profession as well as should be your job, right? Because we're all in it together and we all want to create more of an impact. If you want to create an impact, drop me an impact below. All right. So more and more people are flocking to network marketing companies every day with hopes and dreams that this is the ticket, that this is the ticket to freedom. But then I see them join and I see them quit. And I ask myself, well, why? Well, probably because the low entry cost to get in. You guys, when I owned a franchise, I spent $700,000. My loan was $700,000. Do you think 
that I would just come in and half-ass that? Like, no, okay? So I have developed an ethic, a work ethic of not quitting. I'm not a quitter. I'm not a quitter. I am not a quitter. However, I will find ways to improve my life. And if I, I, I find ways to improve my life, and that means that my journey needs to change, then I will change my journey. Does that make sense? But I'm not a quitter. Um, so let's talk, about, let's talk about some things inside of network marketing, okay? Um, let's talk about finances and income and how bad people, how bad people need this. Okay. So you guys are all agreeing with me. I'm getting a lot of fist bumps over here on the desktop. Okay. And they're saying impact, impact, impact. Um, let's talk about the finances. People are drowning. They're drowning. They're sitting in quiet desperation and they're drowning. I think it's like this statistic is over 50% of the house our households, uh, I think all over the world, are taking on second and third jobs. You guys, that's scary. Why is that happening? Well, because people are spending more money than what is coming in, and they're spending it on useful or useless things, right? And so guess what? Network marketing. We could provide them with an opportunity. Um, educating yourself. That's another thing. You need to educate yourself more about not just the profession, but about marketing as a whole. Like understanding it, okay? That's another tip I have for you. Really understand it because when I really understood it, when I came up against the haters, when I came up against the no's, when I came up against rejection, I was able to become bulletproof because I truly believed in my gut and in my soul, in my being, that this truly was a better way. It truly is a better way. I can probably share with you like hundreds of other stories of how, you know, making a residual income and building a team and putting the effort in to build a team to have the residual coming, residual income coming, hundreds of stories of how this has helped people, okay? It impacts lives. Okay, another tip I would really love to see is to stop the hype. Stop the hype because it's not an easy climb, you guys. Just because you get started in network marketing it doesn't mean it's an easy climb. Now, I told you, it's, a, it's a, a low entry. So people, they come in and they're like, well, I'll give it a whirl. I'll see. I only spent a couple hundred bucks on my pack. And they don't really fully embrace it. They don't fully embrace it. So it's because of what you're projecting out. What are you projecting out? Are you telling people, well, you just got to get two people and you're going to build this million dollar business like I was told? You guys, it doesn't work like that. So be very careful. Don't spam, right? We're not on social media to spam. I, I, this is not how I built a near seven-figure business inside of network marketing. I have developed actually seven figures inside of the network marketing space. I didn't do it by spamming. I didn't do it by hyping. I didn't do it by pulling people to join my thing you know what i'm saying like no um i educated i had posture i was building a brand even though i didn't want, i didn't understand what a brand was now i know what a brand is even more so so i'm building even a stronger brand like and i was creating curiosity through my social media channels right i wasn't pushing product in their face i'm not a product pusher by any means um and so I see too many people saying how easy this is, and it's simple, yet it's not easy. And you guys know what I mean that I've been inside of network marketing, okay? It's, it's not an easy climb. There is a lot of work that goes into it. Um, embracing the no and focusing on activity. Like embrace the no and on activity. Can we just like drop that in because that, is huge. The reason why I've been successful inside of network marketing is because I accepted the no's because I didn't care. I didn't care. I was taught not to have an emotional outcome to any circumstance, any person, anything. And I never tied myself to it because I kept thinking, well, nothing gained, nothing lost, you guys. Nothing gained, nothing lost. Yes, it could be a blow to the ego and you could feel bruised. But here's the thing. 
they're not saying no to you. They're saying no because they don't know enough or they're just saying no because it's not right fit for them or they're just saying no because they don't know enough or they don't, um, they might not think that they need it at that moment. Okay. So that's it. So you've got to embrace, like, I want you to hug the no, <laughs> hug the no, and then be done with the no, and then go over here and pull out your calendar and start focusing on activity. Like, that's what you do. Okay. No is okay. Yes. No is okay. Um, and so, um, I love I love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, I'm getting a lot of thoughts over here. Those of you watching through my fan page, drop me that. Drop me uh, no is okay, all right? And, and, and then not getting a result from that no, that's okay too. Because guess what, you guys? No is not forever, right? You know this. No is not forever. Um, so I want to keep moving on then this is probably going, going to be the biggest one, um, is getting on the right bus. Getting on the right bus is super important, and this is the big one. So we went over about how big box, like, retailer shops are closing down, like Amber Crombie and Fitch, Toys R Us, uh, Carson Peary Scott, like it was crazy. There was a list of 27 big retailers. Okay. Um, the, the, the children's store, I believe there was like, there's just, there's so many stores that are shutting down. And so you think, well, why is this? And I said, I said, people want convenience. They want fast. They want online. So what I mean about getting on the right bus is this. I see a lot of network marketing companies not getting on the bus. <laughs> and one of the reasons why I switched companies is because my old company is met, matter of fact of how much they wanted to say that they support social media. They still wanted to confine you in a little bubble. They wanted to confine you in a little bubble and not let you break out and do what your entrepreneur spirit wanted you to do. Um, as well as my, my past upline, okay? And I will tell you this, upline scare tactics are disgusting. So if you are a leader and you are somebody's upline and you're trying to scare them to stay in your company, you should be disgusted with yourself. And I will just put this out there. Because it happened to me in my past company and I decided, I decided, I made the decision to leave to start over from scratch again in a new company because I have more respect for myself. Okay. So you cannot sit in misery for somebody else. And I don't want to take away from my last company and say I was miserable, but I wasn't happy. I was not fulfilled. I wasn't doing things that way I wanted to do. I wanted to build 100% online. I wanted a system that I knew for a fact my team could win, okay? I wanted to follow the trends of online marketing, and this is what I'm talking about. There are so many network marketers and so, much, so many network marketing companies out there that are turning their face to online marketing. Now, hear me on this. I will never say that building belly to belly is dead. However, what it has taken me in 10 months to do in my team of nearly hitting the top of the company, okay, I'm almost to the top of the company. I have a team of 1,200 business builders in 10 months, okay, and I surpassed my income of my past company that took me five years to build. Now, if you're sitting there with your jaw dropped, you should be. How is that possible? Because you have to have the right company, the right product, the right leadership, the right timing, the right comp plan, and you have to know what you're doing. Say hi. Everyone, Landon just made an appearance. Okay. And so... You guys, you can't ignore it, right? Like you, how how is that possible? 
So my le so I see companies out there, some of these ancient dinosaur companies. And the reason I know this, you guys, is because I get messages every single day from network marketers. I connect with so many network marketers, and I absolutely love it. Okay, and I hear their stories. I hear what they're saying, and I feel them. I feel them because that's how it was in my past company. And that's why I made a change because I didn't want to sit there anymore and do the mundane stuff of three way calling in home parties and meeting people at coffee shops just for them not to show up and going to home meetings just for them not to show up. Okay. I'm a busy mom. I'm a busy mom. And I also wanted a company that supported my other businesses and, and, and supported me doing my other businesses, which they did not. And that was very clear. Um, and that's okay. That's okay because you know what? God is good and God ha places certain people in your life at certain times. God places certain circumstances as painful as it might be and as hard as it might be, he places these cir certain circumstances in your journey because you're supposed to take a new direction. And I thank God every single day for me following my gut and my intuition into some, a different place because it was the best decision I ever made. And I hear network marketers all the time. How do you know when it's time to make a shift? Your gut tells you. Your intuition should tell you. If you're not happy, that should tell you. If you're waking up feeling miserable, that should tell you. But I'm getting pushback from my upline. Well, then why would you stay there? Why would you stay with an upline that doesn't support you no matter what decision you make? Because you don't work for them. You're, they're not your boss. There, there was nothing I needed to clear with my past upline for me to go and start a coaching business. And yet they felt the need to try and control my life. Okay. That's called ego and pride. All right. All right. I also don't believe that you should build two network marketing companies at once. I don't believe in that. I believe if you split focus and you divide your focus, your business suffers. That's what I truly believe. Um, and so I hear this all the time, but Julie, how do I decide? Or Julie, I've tried other network marketing companies. How do I start over again? You just do it. You just do it and you be honest about it. Okay. So you have to figure out what it is for you that is important. For me, it was to find a company where I knew everyone could win, not just me, and make the multiple six figures and nobody else on my team making that. That was not for me. Then I got smart and I started looking at compensation plans. Com compensation plans, super duper important, okay? To understand, all right, Landon, you gotta knock that off, hon. Okay, to understand, okay, I'll be right, one second. Okay, Joy's in having a home-based business with your kids. Um, to understand the compensation plan, so you know it is guaranteed that everyone's this is goes back to you get involved with a network marketing company because why? Because a neighbor, a friend, a sister, a relative, an aunt, a whoever, try this product. Oh, I like this product. Oh, I might share this product. Oh, there's an opportunity. Oh, you can make some money. Oh, you can get paid in free product. Blah 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 blah. Okay, that's how that's how people get in. But what I mean is getting on the right bus is if you decide that you want to really build this and you're not in the right all right stop and you're not in the right company okay and you decide that you want to make a change then you just go ahead and you just do it okay you have to decide what's right for you you have to decide what's right for you and you can't let anybody else dictate that decision you guys right I feel very, very strongly about that. I feel very, very strongly on following the trends and building an online business. And if you're sitting there and you're saying, you know what, I'm not happy, or you know what, I'm not, I'm not with the team I want to be. I'm not excited. I'm not making what I want to be making. And yet I am putting in the effort, right? Because if you're not making what you don't want to be making and you're not putting in the effort, you have nobody to look at but yourself. And that leads me to another thing. You better get your butt to company events, okay? I see people skipping out of their own company events, going to listen to somebody else that's not even in the network marketing profession. They'll go spend money at their event, but they're not getting to their own company event. That makes no sense to me. 
I'm sorry, but if you want to build a business and you want to be successful, you got to get to the events. Super important. All right. So I'll leave you with this. These are just some of the truth, just some of the truths that I'm bringing you inside of the network marketing profession. We have a lot to offer people, a lot to offer people, right? Um, there are people out there that don't understand our profession, and that's okay because it's our job, the right way to help them to understand what they truly can create in this business and that they don't have to go out and get a second or a third job, okay? They could go out and they could do this. Now, this is where I'm going to go back to you want to be with a network marketing company that is following the trends of building online and that you have a system online. Because if you're talking to somebody that has, leads a busy lifestyle, as most do, um, you know, running around, dropping off kids, picking up kids, they have sporting events, this and that. I get it. That's the life I live. But if you don't have an online duplication system that they can follow and plug people into, it's going to be really difficult to go tell this 9 to 5 or 7 to 7, 7 a.m. to 7 at night. I feel like most people work with the commutes now. Um, that they have to now go to meetings and home parties and hotel events and all this stuff. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody. Very, very few people. Very, very few people. So like I said, you could still go and do that. But look at my new company, you build online when you have a duplicated system. You've got to build an online duplication system. You, you must. If you want to leverage your time, you have to build an online duplication system. There is no way I could have done what I did in this new company if we didn't utilize an online system. Does that make sense? Where you could have a team in the UK, in Australia, in Canada, in New Zealand, in the US. Okay, I have teams in all of those countries. It's the coolest thing. But we build all through social media. Okay, so... I highly encourage you to take a real long look because I've been getting so many messages from people with the, I'm not, but I'm not happy, but I'm not excited about this over here, or I don't want to do home parties anymore, but I'm scared to leave and start over, but I'm scared of my upline getting upset with me, or I'm nervous because my sister got me involved with the company and I really don't want to be here anymore. Okay. Guess what? Guess what? That is you living your life for somebody else. And that is really crappy. That's, I mean, I, there's no other way I could put this in a nicer, I wish I had a nicer way to put it, but that is you putting your tail in between your legs and just laying down. Because again, you cannot tell this person who walked away from nearly hitting millionaire with her company making multiple six figures a year, leaving a downline of 9,000 people to start over with nobody from her last company except one person. You cannot tell me that, okay? So I don't play violence. That's just not in my blood, okay? I get it. You're nervous. You have fear. You don't want to let anybody down. You don't want to hurt people's feelings. I get it. But you cannot lay down and just allow your life to go by like this, like I should say this, very slowly, feeling misery, feeling unhappy, feeling unfulfilled, okay? Because you won't, you won't live the life ultimately that you're allowed to live. And then you're ignoring that man upstairs because he's trying to like, trying to like knock on your door and talk to you, okay? Your gut, your intuition, your, your inner guide, that is something that is there for a reason. I knew I had to leave. I knew as scary as it was to start over, it had to be done. Because I had certain things that I wanted. I wanted a team that I knew would win. You guys, that is the most important thing. There is a reason why my team had 54 rank advancements in four days in November. Four days. 54 rank advancements. That is unheard of. That is absolutely unheard of. And I have documentation of all 54. Um, and I'm proud. I'm very proud of, you know, standing in my truth 
And so I encourage and empower all of you to stand in your truth and to understand that times are changing. There is a shift, whether people want to look at it or not. These old dinosaur age companies, they want to continue to just do the things that they've been doing and they don't want, they don't want to change. Okay, there's uplines that are making millions of dollars. And they say, oh, forget that social media. Oh, forget building a brand. Just go and start writing your list of 100 people and go start making calls and go start doing your reach outs and go start spamming your feed and go start da 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 You guys, no, I'm here to tell you, you could do it that way or you can learn how to do it the faster way, the more leveraged way, the way that most people want to do it. And that's why I found the home. So then I know there's droves of people coming into our team. You guys, droves of people coming into our team because they don't want to do it this way. Okay? They want to do it the new and improved way. They want to follow the trends. They want to learn online marketing the right way. They want to learn attraction marketing. They want to learn how to brand themselves. They want to learn how to have an online bulletproof duplicated system. All right? So I encourage you, if you're in a company, you better start figuring it out if you don't have all of that for your team. Okay? It's incredibly important. All right. So. That's it for today. I am going to hop off. We gotta get going. This is went on way longer than I expected, but I do appreciate you guys um, hanging out with me until the end. Again, share this out if people, if you know they need this message. Yes, I will preach, <laughs> Dan. I will preach. I will preach because I think it's really, really important. And people are not talking about this. People are talking about recruiting and prospecting and how to overcome up this objection and that objection. But I'm going to tell you now, if I know that there's a lot of network marketers out there feeling like this, okay, and it gets you to thinking, and there, if you're a leader, you want to start paying attention. That's all I'm saying. If, you, if you're a leader, you want to start paying attention of how you can implement this for your team, okay, because um, most people nowadays, they want, just like I said, the fast, the convenience factor. And they want to build a business online. Okay? If you're the person that enjoys doing home parties and hiring babysitters and driving all over the face of the earth and going to coffee shop meetings, I'm no disrespect to you. No disrespect. I built my business that way for five freaking years, and I hated it. I absolutely downright hated it. I think what broke the straw is when I drove 50 miles one way to a home that had two people show up that were already on the plot for a home party. And I said, no way. And I got lost. It took me two and a half hours. Are you going to Kohl's? Yes, we're going to Kohl's. And we're going to Target. Okay. Can I get a toy from Kohl's? Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you leave the office, you'll get a little toy. Okay. You guys, what do we have to do as parents? We have to bribe our friends. Now we got to bribe our children. Do you believe this? <laughs> I have to bribe my kid with a toy <laughs> so I can finish a Facebook Live. What has this life come to? All right. I'm done preaching. I hope this was helpful. Um, and, again, I just, I just empower you to just follow your dreams and follow your heart. That's all. That's all. And uh, follow the trends. <laughs> Uh, hey, Melissa. I haven't even been looking at the comments, guys. I'm sorry, but thank you. I appreciate the hearts. I love the hearts. It's hard to do, like, it's hard to look at the two, but I will definitely look at comments. If you guys have any questions, um, just let me know. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, because, again, yeah, nobody's talking about this. Nope, nope, win-win. Yep. No, nobody is talking about this. Not a lot of people will just but like flat out put it out there. No, because everyone wants to put the glory of stuff. And yes, there's a glory in, in um, network marketing. I'm not saying I, I obviously love it. That's why I'm here. 
building alongside of all of you amazing people. Um, and forgive me, you guys, I'm getting over it, like this really nasty cold, sinus infection, throat thing. I don't even know. Tis the season in Chicago. Um, but people won't share with you these, these little things, right? Like educating yourself and stop hyping and, you know, don't portray this as being an easy thing to build. Like, you know, you got to, you got to set your person up right from the start. You've got to set them up right from the start. And you say that like this, listen, I believe in you. You just, so here, this is what I'm telling you, what you say to your new person. You say, so Melissa, I believe in you. You just shared with me that you are miserable at your nine to five that you miss your children, you're so tired of paying the daycare bills, that you want to fire your boss, you can't stand your boss because she talks down on you and treats you like crap, and you're done with office politics, and all you want to do is be able to just make some income so you can bring yourself home. Well, let me tell you something, Melissa, that's absolutely doable, and I believe in you because I've done it, and I also see many people inside the profession of network marketing do it. But I'm going to tell you something. You're going to get pushback. You might get some uh, hesitation. Um, and so there's a, there's a way to be able to put out there to your friends and family what you're doing. There's a way to launch the right way. And I'm going to teach you how to do that, okay, because that's what I teach my team. I teach them how to launch the right way. Um, and say it's not going to be easy but this is simple this is simple and the first things first I want you to study this profession and I'm going to give you some resources that I would like you to go do the next thing I want you to do is I want you to uh, sign up for our next event I want you to purchase the ticket because this is what I will this is how I'll work with you because I'll know you're serious and again, we want to bring you home, right? Because you want to fire your boss, you don't want to leave your kids anymore, and you're tired of paying daycare bills. So you're going to go and purchase an event ticket, and we're going to go to the event. So you give them a list of stuff to do, and here's the thing. If they do it, they're serious. If they don't do it, thank you, Melissa. Let me know when you're serious on building your business. It wasn't on me. This is on you. So. You don't have to make an excuse that, you know, Bobby Joe got sick or what happened. Um, this is on you. And so it's okay. Just let me know when you're ready. And I'll be here because I'm not going anywhere. Bam. That's it. That's it. So I hope that helped, guys. Me too. I'm sick and I'm Molly Brown in the Titanic. I sing two solos, <laughs> Monica. Yeah, I mean, you guys just keep hearing me sniffle. All right, I can hang with you guys all day, but I got to go before Landon just comes in here and just destroys my nice, clean office that I just cleaned up. All right, talk to you guys soon. Mwah. Be blessed.